I'm Brianna Blocker and I'm here at the South Recreation Center in Warrensburg, Missouri, where the Central Missouri Jennies face off the Fort Hayes Tigers. Let's take a look at those highlights. The Jennies came out strong Sunday against Fort Hayes. Here we have number 16, Hannah Pyle, displaying her footwork, dribbling past her opponents. However, Fort Hayes didn't allow the Jennies to get by so easily. Number 10, Abby Rhodes dribbled down the field while Pyle saves the pass. With 10 minutes left in the half, Pyle broke the scoreless tie, cleaning up a loose ball in front of the Tigers' net, collecting her third goal of the season. Central Missouri took a 1-0 lead into halftime and carried it through majority of the second half. Again, we have Ford Rhodes always ready to head up the field, making the Tigers work for the ball. Though good on defense, the Jennies always manage to keep the ball close to the opponent's goal. Here the two teams fight back and forth for the ball, while Fort Hayes get control for two passes. The Jennies manage to swoop in for the steal. Number 20 freshman midfield Bailey Boykin attempts a kick, but the Tigers goalie was one step ahead. Though down by one, the Tigers stayed aggressive and kept fighting for the ball. However, the Jennies were always there. The Jennies get two opportunities for a corner kick, but Fort Hayes' defense keeps them away from scoring. Here we have a smooth kick from Emily Frenchett to Emily Eldridge, who manages to get it up the field. Before the end of the game, Fort Hayes made a comeback, taking a free kick from Mallory Diedrich and beat UCM's goalkeeper from about 20 feet out from the center of the box, putting the game into overtime. In the 96th minute in overtime, number five, freshman forward Taylor Thompson unleashed a shot from about 30 yards out from the right side and found the back of the net for the two to one win. I'm here with freshman midfield Taylor Thompson. How does it feel being that you scored your first goal of the season as well as a winning goal? It feels great. It's, it was honestly kind of stressing me out all year not scoring that goal, but getting it now and Keeping us first in our conference is really awesome. It's a good feeling. You girls were really aggressive out there. How often does the game get physical? Oh, every game. Every game is a physical game. You just got to stay physical, keep working hard. And the dribbling skills were amazing on your team. Tell me a bit about the training you guys go through. Uh, we go through really like intense training, like 90 minutes training. Just keep, just keep going. We do a lot of like dribbling and foot skill stuff. So, yeah. That's Four Hayes made a comeback minutes away from the end of the game. What were your emotions knowing you may have to go into overtime? Uh, wasn't honestly wasn't very happy. Like we we should have finished them out early, but you know they played good. They played probably with a little more intensity than we did, and thank God we came out in uh, in overtime. And I think we outworked them in overtime, and we wanted it more because it's our home field. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. I'm Brianna Blocker reporting for Sports Page.